3.30. Good evening, I'm Stacy Schott. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. Tonight, Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies are trying to get their hands on a dangerous criminal who fought with a deputy and then took off. It happened during a traffic stop, and the whole thing was caught on camera. Rod Carter is live at the Sheriff's office tonight with details. Hi, Rod. Hey, good evening, guys. Rain or shine, investigators want to get their hands on this guy. They want to find him pretty quick, too. As you said, this all started with a traffic stop, actually for a seatbelt violation, but the passenger decided he did not want to get a ticket and he didn't want anything else, so he fought with that deputy. And everything happened very fast. Deputy Steven Gutierrez tells me exactly what went down in this video when he pulled over a couple for a seatbelt violation Wednesday morning at the Stop and Shop store on 18th Street and 142nd Avenue in Tampa. Well, I made contact with the passenger. Uh, at that point, the passenger I was trying to leave. That passenger, now identified as 37 year old Rachi Germain Rayford, knew he was wrong. He acknowledged. He said, yeah, he wasn't wearing the seatbelt. Uh, at, that, at that point, I asked for his driving license or ID. He also knew he was wanted. He jumped out of the vehicle, and that's when he pushed me away. Um, that's when this you know, little struggle happened. Deputy Gutierrez, who fractured his finger in that scuffle, deployed his taser. Look at his hands, make sure he didn't pull any knife or any gun. The taser did not work. And the subject uh, fled. But in the process of running, Rayford dropped his ID, and deputies then realized he was an ex-con wanted for a parole violation. This couple happened between them. I'm an Alcafri. The clerk at the store gave deputies the surveillance video. It's happened so quick, and we went outside. There was already the police was chasing the guy. They said that he tased him already, but he couldn't. Uh, he still was running, and he was running behind him. Sheriff's Major Scott Wellinger told me this goes to show that deputies are faced with life and death decisions in not minutes, but seconds. We just do not know what we're up against uh, at any given time. Deputy Gutierrez and his wife think of that every single day. You know, everything could be totally different. And once the investigators catch up with this guy, he's going to face his parole violation charge and a brand new charge, battery on a law enforcement officer. Josh? And what about the girlfriend who was driving the car? Well, you know what she did? As soon as the uh, deputy chased after her boyfriend, she backed out. So as soon as they catch her, she'll be facing a new charge, too. Okay, complete circle there. Rod Carter live for us in Hillsborough County. Thanks, Rod.